Welcome to Red35 and today we are looking at one of the most important lenses for the professional micro four thread photographers, the Olympus M Circle 7-14mm 2.8 Pro. Olympus M Circle 7-14mm f2.8 Pro was released in 2015 together with the very popular yet quirky 8mm Fisheye Pro and if you haven't checked out the lens review we have done one click a link up there and you'll see that um, so what happened with this particular lens you know I, the reason I mentioned about why you need one if you're a professional shooter is because if you're looking for a ultra wide zoom with a constant 2.8 aperture the Olympus lens is your only choice well there are other options out there which is have similar focal length by both uh, Olympus themselves and also Panasonic the closest rival I guess to this particular lens would be the Panasonic Leica DG 8 to 18 millimeters f 2.8 to f4 um, so you know that lens is actually I mean, brilliant there's a really good lens but it's not constant at 2.8 so if you want something that fast that works across the entire zoom range this is the only one Just looking at this lens, even though this is about three years old now technically since the 2015 release date, but looking at the build quality, just this thing is built to last and it's live proof. It's, it's free proof, splash proof and dust proof. Um, you know, I have knocked this lens around, you know, a few times, you know, in weddings and also like when I was doing some street photography, you know, this thing is absolutely brilliant, you know, in terms of sustaining all those impacts and uh, it's still functioning well. The zoom ring and also the uh, the focusing ring actually have a very nicely damped effect, so which means that it can have that kind of very premium feel. Uh, and you know, it's gonna just last, so it's brilliant. A lot of you might be asking, you know, uh, the purpose of an ultra wide zoom lens. Uh, you know there are lots of options out there in terms of primes and lots of zooms but for me pers you know, personally you know for my career for the jobs that I'm doing I think this is a brilliant documentary lens you know the reason I say that uh, uh, is because you know the, it's the flexibility of the range um, sometimes when I get to a very confined environment you know like this seven millimeters is actually wide enough for me to squeeze into any gaps and still taking shot of people like working on something uh, even at wedding sometimes you know like uh, so, uh, if you go to a hotel room for instance the hotel room may not be as big as you may like and just like a lot of the estate agencies that's why the light ultra wide it will make the room a lot bigger uh, visually so it means it's actually better when you go to uh, do a wedding for instance getting ready shots in the room you actually see everything a lot wider more spacious and it just generally looks a lot more uh, uh, pleasing you know in terms of visually um, so that's what I like about this lens and also when you actually zoom it all the way into 14 millimeters which is about you know 28 millimeters in full frame which is kind of you know close enough to get you uh, some sort of general snapshots you know almost as close as kind of my favorite focal length 35 millimeters in full frame uh, uh, so it's actually really good for just normal street snaps uh, uh, or even at weddings I'm doing general snapshots and just brilliant you know I like to do that and for other people who may not be working in that sort of field and looking at this lens you might also consider this as a, a very good uh, general landscape lens as well you know because it's wide enough to take any kind of a dramatic uh, a shots and also uh, if you're interior designers or um, uh, people who like to take a lot of interior shots architectural shots uh, the ultra wide zoom also helps as well and at 2.8 you know like I mentioned earlier you know the 2.8 is actually really good for doing low light which means that you know you can actually do a lot of natural light shots indoor rather than have to bump up the ISO and by the way the closest focusing distance of this thing is two centimeters 
<laughs> you can do some cool ultra wide angle macro shots. So the image quality of the 7-14mm f2.8 Pro is one word brilliant you know i have used a lot of different ultra wide fast professional zoom lenses before like the uh, canon 16 to 35 uh, mark 1 mark 2 uh, you know this thing would absolutely destroy them you know like in, in terms of image quality this is actually really really good no matter what zoom range you're using no matter what aperture you're setting you know it's just really good there is a little bit of uh, softness towards the edges you know at seven uh, seven millimeters uh, but you know that's kind of expect it as so, that sort of focal length um, it's not something that you cannot do with by stopping it down to 5.6 or 6.3 which a lot of landscape photographers would do anyway uh, because of the depth of field reasons there is a tiny tiny bit of uh, vignetting um, at 2.8 and also some uh, very minor distortion uh, you know uh, you know at 7 and the 14 but I wouldn't say something that you cannot fix in post uh, and in fact if you shoot in JPEG uh, the camera actually already corrects it in uh, in in camera because of the processor and uh, while you're sorting raw you know it's really really easy to get rid of and in fact if you apply the uh, lens and camera profile um, in let's say for instance Adobe Lightroom it actually automatically corrects it already uh, but in general I think this thing is just brilliant uh, you cannot really compare with uh, a zoom lens against a prime lens to my mind because uh, the prime lenses for instance the 17 for, uh, 25 or 45 1.2 pros they are more dedicated lens which means that the, uh, the when Olympus designed them they are maximizing the performance for that particular focal length while the zoom is actually more complicated that's why they have a lot of elements a lot of lenses inside it to make sure it performs like give you a more overall pleasing performance across the entire zoom range um, you know but in terms of zoom this is absolutely brilliant you know I, I will not complain about it image quality definitely top marks If you remember the 8mm Fisheye Pro lens review, I actually did talk about this lens a little bit um, only because this is quite heavy and uh, I'm going to come to that in a minute but if you look at all the uh, compatible Micro Four Third compatible ultra wide zoom lenses which you know, there are two by Olympus at the moment and two by an, uh, Panasonic this is the heaviest among the crowd uh, at 500 over 500 gram you know about half a kilo this is really a beast uh, you know, to hold if you even with the E1 Mark II body that I'm holding at the moment it, you still feel a little bit front heavy that's that's how you know heavy this lens actually is compared to all the other pro lenses that I use apart from the 40 to 150 obviously that's a much bigger lens um, but for the size this is actually quite heavy uh, even the Panasonic Leica 8 to 18 millimeters zoom and that one is only at just about 300 grams so it's significantly lighter than this so if you want to do a lot of uh, kind of vlogging uh, you know actions and things like that you know this may not be the choice for you I mean unless you have a very strong arm and very sturdy uh, vlog pod that you're using otherwise it can be quite difficult but other than that you know this is kind of my only complaint and I actually do like the handling of this because the barrel size is about the same as 12 to 40 which is very comfortable when you hold it in hand especially both hand you know just doing zooming action is actually really really comfortable I just like it if you are looking for a ultra wide zoom lens that is reliable uh, feels premium and professional you know this is definitely the choice you know at least for me you know uh, and I think the closest thing that comes to to uh, this particular lens you know in terms of performance is the Panasonic Leica DG 8 to 18 millimeters uh, lens I mean however that one is only 2.8 to 4 like I mentioned before and this is the only lens that actually has a constant 2.8 aperture which to me it is is the big deal you know like as um, I shoot in low light a lot and then I prefer the flexibility of having the 2.8 all the time so uh, whenever the lighting condition changes or dimming you know I know that I can rely on the lens without having to bump up the ISO for instance um, 
to some people that may, that may not actually matter that much uh, but to me it is that certainly uh, image quality is great build quality is like built like a tank like I said um, there are a couple of quirky things about this camera that I would like to also mention uh, is the biggest thing for me is actually the filter you know with this you can actually see because of the built-in pedal shape hood you cannot use a normal filter there is some solutions out there where you can actually mount some kind of adapter to it and then you fit a, um, uh, 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 another, a another layer of uh, filter on it but it's, it's not convenient while the Leica or all the other options that you have out there you can actually use a standard circular uh, uh, screw-on filter which is a lot more convenient uh, cheaper as well you know like and, uh, so this is actually one of the only downsides apart from the heaviness that I mentioned before um, that I will talk about this lens but other than that this is absolutely brilliant and I wholly recommend this lens if you're looking for something fast sturdy and feels premium and durable and lasts a lifetime as well yay this is the lens well if you enjoyed the video you just saw you know exactly what to do and subscribe to our channel for more and also click on that bell button to stay notified whenever we have a new video coming out so until next time i'll see you then bye Welcome to Red35 and today we are looking at something magnificent, the Olympus, no, start again, too slow. One of the lenses you should be getting if you are a professional Michael Four Third photographer, the... <laughs> Tracy said I look like Mario, no, Luigi. If you haven't checked our review, click the link up there. We have done a review on that particular lens. Uh, fully weather um, seal, you know, so it's freeze proof, sh uh, not shock proof, <sighs> freeze proof, uh, splash proof, and dust proof, yes. <laughs> so the lens, well, <laughs> I'm hitting people with these lenses, you know, this thing will definitely dent the car and hit, uh, you know, hurt someone with your use of itself. Blah, no. Just looking at the build quality, it's, it's like a switch, not switch, Swiss made. <laughs> okay, one more time, one more time, I, I think I'm getting into it now. Okay, it, it's just beautiful, you know, like it's fully metal, fully weather sealed, and it's me. <laughs> Are you distracting me, you? Why are you coming over? <laughs> oh. doesn't actually have any sort of um, uh, barrel distortions or uh, pin cushion distortion. They, uh, ah, no, not just one more time, one more time. Yes, okay. Well, yeah, ready? And if you look around, you know, entire uh, Michael Forth uh, compatible uh, ultra fast uh, wide, wide ultra, ultra wide, not ultra fast, ultra wide. I keep using ultra fast. kind of full frame equivalent of um, 14 to uh, 28 you know 2.8 this is this is one of the hell well, <laughs> one of the best options <laughs> gonna do the last bit remember that uh, remember the little bell button